My name's Sean Jones, um, and I'm one of the owners here. Um, you're here at uh, Jones Family Farm. We're a 3,200-cow dairy operation located in Kent County, Maryland, and we farm a little over 2,500 acres, mostly in support of the cattle. We're milking about 1,600 cows uh, three times a day, farm to support those cows. I'm of the philosophy that there should be something growing on the crop as much time of the year as possible. Um, we're trying to capture all the growing degrees that are out there uh, to, to grow something that's profitable, whether that's in the form of forage to feed the cows or root mass and, and um, things for the soil. So we, we always are looking to have something growing. We'll take somewhere between 7 and 10 tons of, uh, of, of forage off of these acres. So it, it'll be a significant amount of feed that we'll, then we'll ensile and we'll be able to feed throughout the year until next year's harvest. I am Jenny Lee Freeberry. I'm a conservation planner at Kent Soil and Water Conservation District. My job is to help farmers protect soil and water quality on their farms. They'll come in with a resource concern and we'll help them uh, working with their entire operation to find the solution that's going to help uh, protect the natural resources on their farms. For me, growing the forage qualifies as a cover crop. And the program allows for grazing or harvesting for your own use. The cover crop program works very well for dairy farmers because not only are we protecting the soil, but we're harvesting very high quality forage for the cattle. It's been a nice um, incentive for farmers to, you know, do the right thing when it comes to protecting our waterways and our soils and things. So um, it's, it's been a really good program. We work with farmers to get them to involve in programs that help them improve their soil quality, improve water quality, and help increase the viability and long-term sustainability of the Chesapeake Bay. We've expanded the use of our cover crop to include more of our acres besides what we harvest for forages because of the benefits for soil health, um, erosion control, um, weed suppression, nutrient uptake, um, all those other things. So that's why almost 100% of our acres will have something growing on it through the winter months. Sign up for the cover crop program is through our, our local soil conservation district office. Um, They've made the program very easy to uh, work with. If you're interested in signing up for the Cover Crop Program, reach out to your local soil conservation district. Sign up usually begins in mid-June.